Hey pretties, welcome back to my makeup channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of beauty videos on this channel. If that's something that you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's cut right to the chase. For today, I have a little review, first impression video of some new makeup that I didn't even know existed. It is called Polite Society. Why didn't anybody tell me about this makeup line? Created by Jared Blendino, who used to own Too Faced up until... 2016 or something he sold Too Faced to Estee Lauder companies which in my opinion when Jared owned Too Faced it was so creative he always had the girliest packaging and it comes at no shock that he created this new brand and it is so aesthetically pleasing first of all let's talk about packaging because that's always what I talk about first this is what I picked up I got the more than a pretty face skin caring foundation I love that it has skin caring properties to this foundation. It is vegan, has HA, which is hyaluronic acid, which is going to be great for us dry girlies. It has niacinamide, so it helps in minimizing your pores. It says it has honesty and kindness. We love those ingredients. It has a willow bark, which has brightening effect. It has no parabens no cruelty no mineral oils d5 free alcohol free except cocktails it says and free of trolls we love it we absolutely love it so i am right in front of a window so when i apply this you guys will get to see its true effects here is the foundation the packaging is just so aesthetically pleasing it's like an egg so it's like really nice to hold i got the color light neutral i did pick up two of their little blush pops this is all i picked up they did have a lip oil or lip plumping lip oil or something like that or lip gloss i did not pick that up because the gondola the lip oil was super sticky and gross and i was like i don't know if that's like a packaging default or if somebody just messed it up so i didn't really pick it up i also just don't need any more lip oils but if you guys want me to review that let me know i did pick up two of his polite pops they are powder blush sticks so these are not cream they feel like cream but they're powder i would assume they're cream just because of the packaging but i got the color los angeles which is my favorite because this is the blush color I wear literally all the time. Did I need another blush in that shade? Probably not. Am I going to absolutely use the heck out of this? Absolutely, I will. So I also got the color London. This is definitely a more of a summer type of color. So here is what the packaging looks like. Tell me these are not so satisfying. They're little pink circles. I just cannot. It's so cute. You guys know I love a good product, but if the packaging is gorgeous, that's a huge plus for me. I love products that have really nice packaging, especially if it's pink. This is a very, very baby pink packaging. You can compare to the lid here. This is like a cream. So they did have a few palettes, which I was genuinely not really interested in. So this is all I got, just these three products. I one blush color on each cheek as well as the foundation. I will give you guys my thoughts. I have my little headband here so you can push this hair out of the way. And of course, it wouldn't be a video for me if I didn't have a cup of coffee. So I'm excited. I am so excited, especially for this foundation. I think this was viral on TikTok, I heard. I have high hopes. And I do love a good skincare and foundation. You will be seeing this little mirror. I do get questions sometimes about stuff like this when I film videos. So if you see this peeking, this is from Fancy Co. I will link it below as well as a coupon code. I don't make any commission from Fancy Co, by the way. But it does turn on, so you will see a little bit of light on my face when I use it. To start off by priming my face with the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. By the way, I'm usually very chatty in my videos, so if you're new here, hi, I talk a lot. But um, when I try to do reviews, I try to keep my chit-chatting about the reviews. I'm not trying to be, like, boring, but you guys, I just want to focus on reviewing the makeup and not, like, giving you guys, filling you guys your head up with junk so we can focus on the review. When I saw these little blush things, I was just like, why don't I own those? Like, what the heck? Why didn't I know about those? And apparently this this line has been out for a while. I do have my favorite foundation brush, which is from my brush set. I will link my brush set below if you guys are interested, plus my coupon code for 20% off of it. If you guys want this, I did th create this brush set in collaboration with SL Miss Glam. Let's remove the lid. This is one thing I will note. Removing the lid is... Not that it's difficult, but it's hard to grab it because it's like a circle, so just a thing to note. But here is what it looks like with the lid removed. Just going to pour some on my hand. There's like lip liner 
swatches from yesterday on my hand, so don't mind those. But I'm going to just... Oh, it, it's actually liquidy. That's the color. It's pretty spot on. I did color match myself. I am pretty good at color matching myself nowadays, so pretty proud of myself for that. But I'm just going to apply it with my brush. I don't know. I saw videos where people were applying it and it was like a ton of coverage. So I'm not really seeing that. So I don't know if I like need to shake it or something or maybe if I needed to apply it directly onto my face. I'm going to apply it directly on this side. Okay, there it is. okay that did give a little more coverage it's really really thin it's hard to explain it has coverage but it's really 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 thin it is very very pretty like very very skin light which is kind of what i'm into nowadays i'm gonna actually redo this side a little bit like add a little more and then use a little bit of that for my forehead so I will be doing a wear test, so I will give you guys maybe like a 4-5 to five hour wear test of this because there's not that much time left in the day. But I will update you guys at the end of the video how it wore. I'm not going to set it with any powder. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to not wear any other complexion products except for the foundation and the blushes so I can give you guys like a true wear test. I will, however, apply a little concealer under my eyes. That's the only other complexion product that I will use today. Wow, it's so, like, skin-like. Like, there's, like, it's a beautiful finish. There's, like, no texture whatsoever. This is the least makeup-y a foundation can be for this amount of coverage. Like, this is definitely a good medium to full coverage, but it looks skin-like, which is quite impressive okay i am going to take my mac studio fix concealer because i know this dries down matte because i definitely just don't want to use any powder at all and i'm just going to quickly do some low highlighting under my eyes so my biggest thing for me is like my under eyes i cannot go without just putting something under there that just makes such a big difference to me. I'm gonna take the foundation brush, just blend, make sure that it doesn't look too harsh. Very pretty. I'm gonna take London on this side and Los Angeles on this side. And from what I've seen, people directly apply it onto their face. So I'm just gonna do that. It's not a cream, it's a powder as it says. So I'm curious. I did get my angled brush to blend that out. This is such a beautiful color. Hmm, it kind of like withered a bit, so I'm gonna do use a different method of applying, which is taking it onto the brush. This is what I would normally do. I don't love like just rubbing anything on my face because I feel like it could pick up the product underneath if you use too much pressure. So see, I prefer this method of applying blush. Okay, you can build the color. That's what I was kind of trying to see because it's not the most pigmented, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, who doesn't love a good amount of blush, right? I'm just going to build it one more time. I just want to see. Yep, it keeps building, so that's good. I don't know if this will be my favorite blush. I think I'm just really stuck on like my cream blushes right now. I feel like maybe these will grow on me. The packaging just too cute. It's like a button. Seriously, you know the term cute as a button? It's this blush because it looks like an actual button. In. put Los Angeles on this side I'm going to go ahead and just take that directly on the brush straight off the bat and this is like my favorite blush shade it's like the dolly pink only reason that I'm not gushing over this right now I think it's because how much I'm having to build it that's just my personal preference I like a crazy amount of blush I'm gonna just like see what happens if I do this okay it didn't pick up the product underneath it good i was like i was scared for a minute i think i like doing that better i don't know if i like applying it directly on my cheek better on the brush i feel conflicted i feel like i'm definitely gonna have to like put these to the test i will be putting these to the test you guys i will be giving you guys another speed reviews like you guys saw the last time all the new products you guys have been seeing, the YSL products. You know what? I feel like this one built a lot quicker than the other one. These are gorgeous blush shades. This one gives more warmth. This one is more cool toned. I would wear both of these colors religiously. These might grow on me because I love the finish of them. I love how they look. I just didn't love how much I had to work for that much pigment. Maybe, maybe, maybe 
I just need to play with the application of it, you know? So also another video you guys can look forward to is the new Rare Beauty blushes. I got four of them, so I will be doing a review slash swatch video of those next. Make you guys subscribe if you want to see that. And these will also be included in speed reviews. So I'm going to go do my eyes, my lips, and I will be right back to give you guys my thoughts. And, you know, I'm going to go collect my thoughts while I finish the rest of my makeup. And I will give you guys kind of like a summary and then we'll do a wear test of both of these things on my face. Okay guys, I did the rest of my face. I didn't want to do too much just because we don't have a lot going on on the face and I don't want to have a lot going on on the face because I want to truly test just these two products. But I did do a little brown wing, some lashes, and a nice spring lip. In case you guys are wondering, nobody asked, but I'm just going to let you know what's on my lips. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil in Nighthawk and the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in Flurries. In the center, I popped a little bit of nude lipstick. I used Too Faced Lady Bold. Funny enough, I used Too Faced in this video given this is Jared Blendino's new brand, but yes, I used this. And that's all I did for the rest of my face. Obviously, I also filled in my brows. Here is what it looks like take a good look I feel like it makes my skin look very like healthy and not glowy in a bad way but it looks glowy like it looks I don't look dried out I don't look matte not that matte is a bad thing I do still like matte foundations on certain occasions but it looks really nice it's leaning like satin glowy but it's not like glowy by the way I'm not doing much to my hair I'm trying to not style it every day because the heat will literally kill my hair this is what my natural hair texture is like it's kind of like wavy a little bit today was hair wash day so my hair's looking and smelling good okay so let me give you guys my thoughts i've collected my thoughts a little bit i know what i want to say i'm very pleased with the foundation so far i feel like it gives a nice satin leaning glowy type of finish it's definitely giving skin it's giving healthy skin but it gives coverage which is something that you just don't find hand in hand that often are there products out there that do this yes but not always correctly i feel like this formula is one that all the girlies would love for an everyday look i do have normal to dry skin leaning more dry so you know just an fyi if you're oily i don't know that this will work the same for you. If I have any oily girls that have tried this here, please let us know down below. Love to know if this worked for you. So as far as the blushes, I'm going to stand by what I originally said. They were a little bit of work to build up, but they are beautiful. Like, so pretty. It sits very well on top of their foundation. I'm going to continue to like test these and see how they look with other foundations as well. I like a product you can use with anything. If these work well with other foundations, I think these can grow on me. I do love this packaging. I think the packaging is 10 out of 10. Honestly, like I was just like, they're so cute. But again, I love the colors. So there's th that's the only con. It's just that I had to really build it. But the color is great. The way it looks on my skin looks great. For it being a powder, it's not drying. It gives definitely powder once you apply it. But... It kind of goes on like it's a cream. It's very interesting formula, to say the least. These remind me of something like a K-Beauty brand would come out with, to be honest. I don't know, I really liked the experience of this product, aside from having to build it. If you guys have any tips on applying these, I would love to take your tips. If there's any other thing I should have tried, just let me know down below. Go on with my day. I will give you guys a little check-in in a couple of hours or so. Okay, guys, I'm currently filming this update on my phone. It has been lots of hours. <laughs> it's been like six hours now, and this looks incredible. I am super impressed with how the blushes wore. I mean, I already kind of knew I was going to love the foundation. I can just kind of tell just because I've tried so many foundations and I know what I like off the bat. This foundation, Chef's Kiss, this might be my new favorite like everyday foundation. I love how it's like makeup, like it's enough coverage but it still looks so like flawless. Um, I did notice it looked a little makeupy here on the forehead, but it's nothing that can be resolved with a little like setting spray or powder, but I honestly genuinely love the foundation. Like 
oh, I cannot say enough good things about it. The wear time, amazing. It hasn't rubbed off absolutely anywhere. Not even on the places it usually rubs off on, like my nose or my chin, for example. I still have foundation on both of those places, even though I recall touching my nose today. So that's quick, that's impressive. So the blushes wore beautifully like they did not fade at all which i was a little bit afraid as i was blending them i kind of thought they might wither away throughout the day just because as i was blending them i could tell they you know i as you guys saw i had a little bit of a time working it in but guys polite society it gets a it gets a nine out of ten for me. I'm only deducting that point because of how much I had to build the blush, as I told you guys before. But my first impression is a good one. We're gonna keep testing these out, hopefully give you guys an update and a speed reviews. But that is everything for today's video.